Hi, this is Mark Dixon from Concrete Decor Magazine, and today we're going to talk about how to restore color to a concrete patio that was not installed properly. Here to help us is Bent Mickelson. Hi, I'm Bent Mickelson with Concrete Decor Magazine, and as Mark pointed out, uh, we're here today to talk to you a little bit about how to repair uh, an otherwise poorly installed decorative concrete project. So Ben, what was wrong with this thing? From the, how, did, how did it happen this way? How did, what went wrong? Yeah, good question. This is a stamping uh, project in the backyard of, of a residence in which the, uh, the, the family wanted a little fire, fire pit, poor color application, poor finishing work. You know, it just uh, left this, this spot in the backyard as a place that people had the least desire to go to. Uh, that's the unfortunate thing. So we're going to do this here in, in, in a bit. What kind of tools are we going to need? A brush and a bucket. And about how long is it going to take? About two, two and a half hours from start to finish. Well, that's something that could be done in a morning before it gets too hot in the middle of the day. Absolutely. Let's go do that now. Right on. Let's go. This is a two-coat process. The first application penetrates at a different rate and can look uneven. The second gives the concrete a more uniform look. The tools you'll need are a broom, a mixer, a couple of buckets, and a gallon of water. Be sure to mix the product according to the instructions and to use the broom to keep it mixed. Rebroom it if it dries too quickly. After mixing, spread the stain onto the concrete. You don't have to apply pressure. Be sure to apply using circular strokes. For the first coat, spread the stain as far as it goes. Less is better. The second coat is applied as soon as the first is dry. Make sure the stain is dry to the touch and not tacky. So as you can see, the before and after, I mean, there's a pretty dramatic difference here. This stamped concrete project looks what it should have looked like the day it was installed, uh, giving it a very natural, very authentic look, uh, a lot of accent color down in the, in the valleys that, uh, that are what uh, decorative concrete really should look like. Looks great to me. Yeah, it's a job well done with this little uh, brick uh, rise. It keeps embers and ashes inside the pit and uh, these people will enjoy this patio for years to come. All right. Hey, thanks, Ben. Thank you, Mark. Well, thanks for being with us today. And if you have any more questions about patio stamping and staining, you can visit ConcreteDecor.net. That's ConcreteDecor.net and type and use the keywords stamping and staining and you'll find out much more about projects like this and other projects. Again, thank you for joining us. And today, our sponsor was New Look, who provide product for this project.